I'm going to show you how you can use line items with the uh, PDF generator. So line items are for PDFs that um, want to have tables within them, essentially. So take, for example, this PDF. So this document itself is supposed to represent one row, right? But within the document, there's a table. And what this table is really is each column here is a lookup field. So we've got a bunch of uh, linked records, and then we got this lookup field, and then this lookup field. And what we're doing is we're taking those two lookup fields and putting them in a table here. So I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. Um, you would first fill up the lookup fields names down here. So if I were to start over, I would take this thing right here, make sure it's case sensitive, and then this thing. Ironically, you're not really copying the names, uh, the, the name of the linked records field, but that's fine because all we really need is the uh, information that's being taken from it, not the uh, record itself. So this is what you would add here. And then in, in Docuo Pilot, you would do a, uh, come here, hit the table. So you'd start here, then hit the table, and then you'll, you'll need a field name. So this is, a bit confusing, but for the field name, we'll be using the default name that Docopilot uses for these things. Um, in that case, ours will be uh, so. In line items in general, they always use this this exact name, line items. This is um, the same exact name you'll be using if you're using uh, mini extensions too. So you can add that line items. So pretty much whenever you're using this function what you want to add in this field is always line items. So add that there and then copy the names of your fields. And these are going to be the columns of the table. Um, do this and hit insert. So we, we get this little thing right here. Let's try saving and then let's try generating the PDF. So if I hit run right here, See it pop up soon. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's see. Cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it.